In this video we're going to show you Polyboard's multi-slope top feature. We've got a simple box cabinet here. You can go up to the modify menu, select top and then go across to the multi-slope top option but we're just going to use the quick design toolbar for speed. Let's click here and here we've got the multi-slope top dialog box. We're working in profile 1 which allows us to apply a slope on the front view or elevation view. In this case let's use these coordinate boxes to apply the slope. If I hover over this left hand side point which is the left side of the top we can see the coordinates are 0 for X and 0 for Y. I'm now going to click once and then once again to apply an extra point on the top panel and we can see the coordinates up here. Let's change the X coordinate to 200 and the Y coordinate to 100 and click apply here and we can see our slope taking shape on the left. If you place a point you decide you don't want, just hover over it and click again and it will disappear. Let's click on this point on the right hand side and let's move this up 100 as well. So that's the elevation view slope. I'm going to click on profile 2 now. With this we can apply a slope to the side view as well. In this case, just so I can show you how it works, instead of using the coordinates, I'm just going to drag this point up. And let's do the same with this one. As well as these two options, down here these third and fourth options allow you to align the slope to any other angle you want or to a specific panel. I'm going to click OK now to apply our slopes. And let's explode it so we can see in more detail the slopes that have been created. So you can see some pretty complicated geometry here that uh, Polyboard is able to handle. Uh, all angles are calculated automatically and all these details are included in the plans. Let's just go to File, Print Preview and here we can see the plans with angles applied. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.